Thank you very much. So I would like to begin with some beautiful theory of uh, Springer fibers. And <coughs> as a reference series, I need to begin with some groups. And this is some standard minions when they are written. But if you don't like related groups, they can be <coughs> GLNC with the group of upper triangular matrices as this B and the group of diagonal matrices with non-zero entries. I will also like the bio group, which is the normalizer of T in G, model T. So in this example, you will be symmetric group of letters. OK. And with this, uh, since the normalizer of a borel of B in G is always B over any field, in particular over C. This means G mod B, the flag variety parameterized conjugate of B in G is also a projective variety over C. And then for every, uh, so for every let me say gamma inside G. The Springer fiber is uh, beta gamma, which is <laughs> Metcal B gamma, which is uh, lowest conjugate of B. So I will write this to mean a conjugate of B parameterized by this G mod B, for which uh, gamma is inside this B prime. So this is a Springer fiber. So the cool story about this Springer fiber, uh, maybe I'll give some examples. So first, if uh, gamma is regular semi simple, so an example of GLN, say if gamma is like this, with distinct eigenvalue, then those boreals that contain this gamma is the same as those, uh, I mean, conjugate of triangular, upper triangular matrices that contain a diagonal. So they are exactly those conjugates given by permutations of the n entries. So this will be SN in that case, or the bio group, uh, non canonically. If gamma is regular neopotent, so in the case of, sorry, unipotent. In the case of GON, it's this. Then this is a point. Uh, lastly, if gamma is 0, uh, sorry, 1, the identity. Then by definition, this is the whole variety of all conjugates of B. Then uh, Springer and possibly others in this generality define an action of a bio group, so Sn in our case of GLN, on the homology of this Springer fibers uh, without necessarily acting on the variety itself. So we saw acting on the variety itself. So in the first two examples, the action is sort of clear. In the first example, we can, you can let the bio group x by translation on the bio group itself. This action is canonical, despite that that identification was not. So it acts. In the second example, it's just a point, so it acts trivially. In the third example, this G mod B, well, you have a map from G mod T to G mod B, and it's always, this is, is a vibration where each fibers are just an uh, affine space. This says 
the homology of G mod B can be identified as a homology of G mod T. And this time, and, uh, and, and this time the value, so the normalizer of T, acts on G mod T by left, right, left, right, right translation. So the group acts on the homage of this guy. In a way, for example, it acts on this guy and then identifies this. So Springer defines action for any such gamma. And uh, so they are fun. So for example, uh, If we look at those uh, gamma, they are unipotent. Then such representations <coughs> of the value group as a finite group. Uh, Generate all representations. Actually, yeah, generate all representations as virtual representations, I guess. Oh, the value group. So, for example, when G is G or N, then uh, the value group is SN. And you know, representation of Sn can be indexed by partitions of n. On the other hand, unipotent matrices of size n can be indexed by a Jordan Kanagawa form by partitions of n as well. And it's indeed uh, matched that way. Okay, so that's what we are given by Springer. And uh, then I will just very loosely say uh, philosophically value group is the F1 point if F1 exists of our G well this doesn't really make sense to me and probably something that makes a little bit sense is uh, if you take uh, our group defined over a finite field of Q then the hack algebra, which is uh, this group algebra, well, not group algebra, this algebra, the algebra of uh, functions on GFQ, they are by invariant under BFQ, where you can think of GSB in that way if you like. Uh, this, is, this is the deformation of the group algebra of the value group. So I think this is the only way I realized that sentence, in fact. And, and this suggests that uh, we have application of this theory, application of Springer theory, to uh, representations of uh, GFQ. So to give an example, uh, they exist. So, for example, they exist representations, uh, representations of uh, GFQ, those defined the linear nullistic indexed by. Indexed by elements of a while group, or actually uh, conjugacy classes of the while group. Oh, I, I guess I'm assuming G is free, and if you like G is G or N. Representation indexed by conjugacy of classes of the while group. Uh, <coughs> so I will call them. Uh, set are actually are they actual representations? Any 
So I think there are actual representations, but I'm certainly not sure. If not, there are virtual representations. Theta w, so let the characters of theta w on such a gamma, such a uniform gamma, is given by uh, the trace of four binaries times w. W is an element in the vial group on the homology of uh, these varieties. So in this case, these varieties are defined over FQ, and you have to use, have to use LD cohomology. But anyway, these things. Sorry, how many minutes do I have? Uh, Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, so I was hoping to give a nice picture of beautiful works and uh, nothing to do with me. And my research uh, concerns homology of affine spinger fibers. I have to first tell you what they are. Affine Springer fibers instead of Springer fiber. So I think when we say affine, that means we go from a field to uh, the field of the wrong series over that field. So this is like uh, the field of uh, germs of metamorphic functions on a formal puncture disk. And let me take. O to be a string of integers, so those formal series that extend to the origin and is a maximum ideal given by T. So uh, I have O mod M is connected to C, and so how do I pick? So, so consider a group, consider a group. G with n trace in f, for example, G or n f. In that this, I can consider those with n trace in O. Because O mod m is C, this is a map to G of O mod m. In other words, G of C. Inside this, I used to have the Borel. So I can take a pre image. Take the pre image here, and this we call the Yuahori subgroup. And now it's again true that the norm rider of a Yuahori in the big group GF that we consider, so it's again true that the norm rider of you are hurry. This primitive of Borel layer inside the whole group is again itself. So GF mod I, GF mod I, we can parameterize conjugates of I. So we can consider a similar variety. So let's say for any gamma inside GF, we consider a similar variety, which is the so-called fine spinger fibers, defined to be those uh, conjugates of I. Sorry, GF modulo I that contains this gamma. So let me give an example. SL2 and gamma is like uh, maybe 2t and 1 half t. This is like, sorry, no. 1 plus t and 1 plus t inverse. In this case, this thing, well, it's hard to see why, or it's not, but it's hard to see why. It's hard to say in one minute. 
then it looks like a chain of P1, an infinite chain in both ways. So my study concerns a uh, homology of these varieties. And well, in this example, you might see that this is like a combinatorial object, and it has a heavy combinatorial part, but not only that. So, uh, so there are the results that uh, stratify these things and understand them as, so there are results. So for example, there's a work of Gorishi, Kovic, and McPherson. And I have some other results after that. Let's stratify this variety and understand each stratum as a as uh, iterated <coughs> vibrations. So I have some results and I do this in general in a way that give you an algorithm in, and you understand things, there's a lot of things that we, I don't understand at all. But uh, just to give examples, for example, so in this stratification, you can see varieties that look like symmetric powers of hyperlinear curves. And therefore, to understand this, Homology or homology, you, you, uh, you, you struggle, and that's the situation. So I will stop here. Thank you.